Hello folks, I'm Raidahost again and in this brief video we take a look how to install Autodesk Civil 3D 2020 which is introducing actually quite breakthrough new features namely the inclusion of Dynamo. But first let's download the installation files and then quickly take a look how to install the product. What are the main settings while installing the product? So I'm downloading and suggesting to download all files from autodesk.com website. You might have already account with Autodesk, of course, then you can download from your account as well. In general, there are no big difference in terms of files that are needed to download. So I'm autodesk.com website. If I don't see Civil 3D directly, I can select all products and then scrolling down. And once I see Civil 3D, I do a left click. This is my Civil 3D sub page. I select free trial and then I click download free trial. I check which windows I do need, Windows 64 bit, approximate installation size, five gigabytes. So I click next and I will use it as a business user. Actually, I'm installing it as a trial, so there are not so big difference which selection I make. English version as language, I hit next. If the login to your Autodesk account is asked, then uh, just fill it in. If you don't have Autodesk account, don't worry, you can create it for free using create account. And once it's created, then you can use just your email and a password and sign in. You should probably fill in some additional information and then quite important step is coming up. So my recommendation is that uh, you download your files first and then start your installation. This big blue button, begin download, means that uh, you actually download very few amount of files and uh, while you start installation then additional files based on your selections you made will be downloaded. Instead I suggest to use download manager first, so I do a left click. Now I download a small program called Autodesk Download Manager. I save it to my desktop, hitting save, and then I just do a left click to fire it up. I then should see save download option in where I simply select to where I want to download all those installation files. And it's good to have those files for later reuse as well or maybe you want to install it into several machines. So you can freely select to where to download. This is not yet installation, but download. And later you can fire up the installation from that same direction. Actually, I already have done it. So I don't hit OK this time, but instead I show you that I have all those files already available in this location. So if I open up Windows Explorer, my C drive, install Autodesk 2020, I can see here Civil 3D 2020. And if I double click on it, I can see that all my 64-bit version 2020 Civil 3D files are here. And I also see setup.exe. And let's check uh, this folder size. I click properties and I can see that it's about 8 gigabytes um, in my drive. Of course, it can be Shift it into portable drive, wherever you want to keep those files for later reuse. But right now I have those in my C drive. So once I have downloaded all files, I hit cancel here. So I don't download those again. I close also Autodesk Download Manager. Once I have downloaded all my files, I can then fire up this setup.exe. So this is my next step. I simply close all unneeded windows and double click this setup.exe. Setup screen will initialized and then I should see a selection to continue with install directly or if I want to I can check installation help also system requirements it's quite important to check those to be sure that you have enough hardware capabilities in your machine. You can also select install tools and utilities. Let's do that first from where you can install only Civil 3D Object Enabler or Network License Manager or CAD Manager tools. We don't need those here because we don't have network license as such and we will install Civil 3D instead. But this Object Enabler of course is useful if you want to see Civil 3D objects in different versions of Autodesk software. Right now 
I dismiss this, so I go back and I do hit install. I can then select my country or region. I should read through the license agreement if it's my first time to install Autodesk software. I accept and next. And then I have a option to select which features I want to install with Civil 3D 2020. I might see a yellow icon here. It depends if I already have installed some of my AutoCAD components which belong to 2020 family. Because I have installed AutoCAD 2020 previously, then this is just a warning and uh, I can easily dismiss it. So no big issue here. But if you haven't installed AutoCAD before, then no trouble at all. Both will be installed at the same time. Now, if I do a left click here, then I can see what will be installed with my Civil 3D 2020. Again, some components in my case are already installed, like Autodesk App Manager and Autodesk Featured Apps Login. Um, I probably don't need the Formats Reporting tool, but I definitely would like to have additional product called Storm and Sanitary Analysis. I also suggest to select Subassembly Composer and Autodesk Patch Save Utility, good to have. Let's scroll down, then uh, installation type. I can keep typical. If I select custom, I can see which and what components it includes, but typical will include all of those. And definitely I want to include express tools. Now select content. This doesn't have any country packages yet. Those can be installed separately, but by default, you can select between metric and imperial content because I'm metric user, I deselect imperial, I don't need that. I also want to keep my AutoCAD profile included and uh, also why not to have a desktop shortcut. So I suggest to have desktop shortcut. In that case, I can easily fire my Civil 3D as a AutoCAD or as a Civil 3D. So user interfaces are different. Both are yes here, Civil 3D metric. I scroll down, I can do some additional settings which I don't need to do currently, so I left click again. I can then select installation path, I keep the default one, see program files and Autodesk, and then I can also see how much disk space I do need to install it. So I do have enough space available, so everything is healthy here, and therefore I just click install. Now those selected components will be installed. In my case, altogether 17 different products, components. Once this number, first number, will hit zero, I should have different screen showing that everything went well. Hopefully it will, so let's wait for that. Once the installation is finished, you should see similar screen, which hopefully shows green check marks. And those simply indicate that everything went well and selected products were successfully installed, like Civil 3D, Storm and Sanitary Analysis, and also all the others. You can then click Finish, and sometimes you do need to restart your PC, which is definitely recommended. Currently, we don't see any such dialog, therefore we can go and check how to fire up our Civil 3D 2020. As you see, depending on which selections you made, all icons are also available at my desktop, like Civil 3D 2020 metric, also Storm and Sanitary Analysis, and AutoCAD 2020. But you can easily find those icons from your program menu. It is also good to check if there are any updates available after you install the product, updates or some additional modules, packages. And for that, you can go to your Autodesk app. You check all the updates from here, select my updates. And from here, you can actually see that Dynamo for Autodesk Civil 3D 2020 is available and should be installed additionally. If I scroll down, I can see also some other components which are related with Civil 3D or some other Autodesk product. 
I definitely interested about installing this Dynamo. So I select update and will install it as well before I open up my Civil 3D. So it will be downloaded first and then installed as well. Let's do wait a bit. If a package or plugin is installed, then it disappears from this list. I will close my Autodesk app dialog and now focusing on to firing up my Civil 3D 2020. So double click on this icon and as I see my Civil 3D 2020 is loading and user interface will be available soon. Because I installed it as a trial or there was actually no place to include my serial number or register as a software, I should see let's get started dialog which let me to enter a serial number if I do have one or subscribe to Autodesk Civil 3D customer. Currently I just hit start a trial which means that I do have 30 days left in my trial. I can see also those days from the top right. I close this dialog as well and now I should have full Civil 3D 2020 user interface available. A couple of things to note for first time users. As you see, I do have a empty drawing already opened, but uh, let's close it. I can hit this cross and then I should have my start screen. From this start screen, I can always start a new drawing based on some template. So because I'm metric user, I always use metric template. Template files are with file extension DWD. I can also do that same thing from this top left icon, left click, new, and then select template. Like I said, Civil 3D metric because I'm metric user. And then I hit open. New drawing will be created again. And this is of course empty drawing, but based on my template settings, I should have different styles available as such. I can also see that by default, I'm using it as Civil 3D. So user interface includes Civil 3D tools and this is also because I fired it up from Civil 3D icon but if I do need to simplify or if I want to use it in different way I can select my user interface from this list for example planning and analysis will show my map 3D user interface and if I'm selecting drafting and annotation I see just AutoCAD user interface so for example I select planning and analysis my ribbon which includes main tools will change also some different palettes will be opened or closed if I select drafting and annotation I can see now simply AutoCAD tools and utilities this is mainly for 2D drawings and if I select 3D modeling, this is for 3D drawings, but again, using standard AutoCAD tools, not Civil 3D tools. So I go back to Civil 3D and close some additional dialogues that I don't need to. Also, I can see that Civil 3D common tool palette, tool space, is already available and opened, which includes four different tabs. This is the most important part in Civil 3D. If I close it, I can easily find it from my home and tool space again. Also, I usually like to see my properties palette right hand side, so I can easily click on this small icon, properties, and instead of floating it somewhere, of course I can keep it in some other screen, but instead of floating it, I just do a right click on top of properties, check that allo talking is included and then I just promptly shift it as it is talking to my right hand side. My main tools are divided into different ribbon tabs. For example, I do have annotation tools. I can also see connection with InfraWorks. If I go to add-ins, I should see some additional plugins which are installed here. And if I select manage, then from here, I can see that same breakthrough feature that is now included with Civil 3D 2020, it's Dynamo, visual programming option. But about this, we can 
come back in our future videos. If I do something in my drawing, then of course I need to save my drawing. I can click save button from the top left tab or I can do right click on top of my drawing. I can select save or save as. Let's select save and I can see that my file type with this 2020 release will remain to AutoCAD 2018. All right, that checked. I can just cancel it right now. So no saving this time because it's my empty drawing. Okay, that was it. This video was about installing Autodesk Civil 3D 2020. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and you will be the first who get notified about my new videos. Bye bye.